morning guys um so today what i'm going to take a look at is the 2019 question 1a your ordnance survey map map so here you'll see it in front on the screen so what we're asked to do we're asked to examine the one is to fifty thousand ordnance survey map and legend accompanying with this paper draw a sketch map of the area to half scale so the map you will get is one is to fifty thousand as it says here Half scale means one is to 100,000, if you just want to circle that and note that in. So on it, correctly show and label each of the following. So the course of the River Shore from S132 to 728 to S119 to 680. The entire area of land above 200 metres. The entire area of Templemore Lake. The entire route of the railway line. So I'm going to have a look at the map just before I start. I'm going to leave that down in front of me. So we're looking at the 2019 map, which is Templemore. Now, it's good to point out that the map here, okay, its scale is ever so slightly different than the map you will get in your Leaving Search exam because it's basically downsized sized or scaled down to fit into your exam papers. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to start off by measuring. Now I only have a short ruler today, so just make sure you have a long ruler in your exam. So here, 15, 17, 18. So here it's 18 centimetres. Now across the far side, I want to say 24 because it's just ever so slightly off 24 centimeters now so first thing i've done is i've measured now i want to get that to half scale so i'm going to in my exam what i'm going to do now is i'm going to ask for my graph paper now this graph paper is a little bit different but it's absolutely fine for the moment and i'm going to start off by drawing the box now it's really really important that you actually ask for graph paper because it'll just make sure, I suppose, it'll make your rectangle actually look like a rectangle. So as we said, along the vertical or along the side, we had 18 centimetres. So we're going to draw in nine. Again, notice I'm doing it in pencil. And across the horizontal side, what we had was 24. So what I'm going to draw in is 12. Just going to join them up. And that's my box drawn. Now, before I start anything else, um, what I want to do now is I just want to pop in my title, my scale and my north sign. So I, before I look at anything else, I want to pop in them three. So my title here is going to be, and I'm just going to actually get a pen to write it down just so it's clear for yourselves. It's going to be sketch map. Of Templemore. Twenty nineteen. My scale is one is to one hundred thousand. Now, marks recently haven't been going towards that, but just let's just pop it in just in case. And finally, my north sign just needs to be an arrow the same direction as is in your map. I'm going to pop it in like this. You might do it a little bit fancier just for today. And there's my north sign, sign in. Now, my next step is to divide the boxes up. So what I want to do, you can either do your pizza slices or you can do your nine boxes. Now, it's important to remember if you do the pizza slices, okay? So if you actually do the pizza slices here, what you can't do them when you go over to your aerial, aerial photographs, okay? But the pizza slices are much, much quicker. So just join in corner to corner. And remember, in an exam, you only have five minutes to do this. So once it's done, 
on my sketch. I want to pop it over and do the exact same on my map. Now, my ruler, as I said, is a little bit shorter, which isn't ideal for this. So I might actually see if I can find a second one. No. So what I'll do is I'll just count across. So I think we had 12 boxes across, so I'll go as far as six. We had nine boxes down. So that's not really going to be too much of a help. Just going to draw really lightly for the moment and get it as accurate as possible. Now mine isn't fully accurate. As you can see, I've just my ruler is just that little bit too short for this. I'm going to do is use the side of the page. A little bit off, but it's fine for the Now my little pizza slices are ever so slightly off today. Um, next time I do this, I will get a larger ruler or a longer ruler. Now, so once we have that done, we have our pizza slices there. Now, they might be a little bit faint for you to see, but in your exam, you can do them as dark as you want. And that matches up exactly with what we have seen here. Okay. Now, what did it actually ask us on the question? So as you'll see from the question here, and you might have it pulled out in front of you, the question asked us to examine four things. Now, for what we've done so far, we're going to be getting four marks. And for each of these is also going to be four marks. So we're having to find the course of the river shore from S132728 to S119680. So I'm going to start off with that one here. So first thing I need to do is actually identify it on the map. So S, that's my subzone letter. Remember, in the door, remember your north sign needs to be facing upwards. In the door. So I'm going to in the door to 1, 3. And 1, 3, 2. So I'm just going to come across here. 2 would be approximately there. Up the stairs, so 7, 2 is here. So I'm going to go to 728. So 728, again, I'm just going to rule it. So 728 would be approximately here. So measure them up, get them in line. So that would be this point here. As you can see, it actually goes off into little tributaries after from that point. And then I'm presuming it's actually going to be down here, but maybe not. So S119. So S119 would be just here. And then 680. So just that point there. Now we're asked to draw in the entire course of that river. So what we have to do is we have to kind of examine where it crosses our line. So it crosses here. It also crosses here. And we need to, I suppose, allow them lines to guide us in our sketch. So when we're allowing the lines to guide us in our sketch, so what we're starting off, and I, you probably have your map in front of you there, I hope you have it marked in. We're starting here. So it's approximately here. It crosses just a little bit over from that, so approximately here. And then it crosses approximately here and finishes just above that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna follow from here and try to match these points up. Getting it as accurate as possible. Now once I have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mark it in, in a blue pen so you can see it. Distinguish it. Come down to the bottom of my page, pop in my key or my legend, 
pop in the color blue and that is going to be my river as we said this is the river shore So the first one done. Now, after that, what we're asked, and I'm just gonna go back and check my question. So the second thing we're asked here is for the entire area of land above 200 meters. Now, as you'll see from this map here, there's not actually too much land above 200 meters. So if I bring this down here, I would presume it's this kind of darker color. So 200, I'm gonna look for, I suppose, a number along my contour lines. So I can see 250 there. So here is 200. Now, I can just, Sketch if I want to take a second and sketch the outline kind of along that outside, outside contour line if I want just so I'll get an accurate shape so now I just have it sketched out here it's all this area of land in here so again I want to just kind of say to myself where it crosses it crosses here it ends here so just across from this part um crosses here and it ends here you also notice here it kind of just out and goes back in so i'm going to draw that in as accurately as possible so it's, if i say it starts here then here maybe approximately here and finishes around here Now, I don't have any colouring pencils, so I'm just going to shade it in very, very lightly. In an exam, I would shade it fully, and I would probably be using pencils, darker colour pencils than I have here, because as you know yourself, your exam is scanned. So I'm just going to pop that little dot in there, and I'm going to pop in exactly what the question asked me. So as you'll see here, area of land above 200 metres. Now, on to my third thing, what do they ask me? So the third thing they ask me is the entire area of Templemore Lake. So again, I'm gonna go to my map and check where it is. So you'll see it's here. So it's the only real lake and it's right beside the urban area. So you'll see you have the line there, it crosses here, so there. So it's right along that line. So just try to get the shape again as accurately as possible. But once it's I suppose fairly correct, your examiner will be happy enough. So it doesn't touch the river shore, so it's a little bit up here. I'm just going to shade it in. So that is Templemore Lake. And if you want to write in the entire area, you can. And the last one here, which is probably, I suppose it's nicer than the river. It's the entire route of the railway line. Now, if you don't know what a railway line is, take a second, go over to your um, key or your legend. The railway line on this map here, you'll see it. It's the black line here with the red dot being the railway station, but they don't ask you to mark that in. So it exits here, it crosses here, here, and it enters here, okay? So my last thing to pop in, I'm going to use the color red for my railway line here. So it's just a little bit, and I want to just point this out. So it's just beside the river, just kind of to the left of the river or to the west. Stays kind of to the west of the river here. It actually crosses the river about here and passes through here, exiting 
mm, approximately there. So again, your examiner is just going to look for them key points where they can kind of, I suppose, notice a change, maybe a crossing, as we said, the, the kind of pizza slices, the lines that we've drawn in, or another part of the map. So my last thing here is the railway line. Now, for the last couple of things there, you could write the entire route. I just want to keep this as short as possible. So in your exam, what you get. So if I was your examiner now and I was grading this, what I would be doing is I'd be checking for your title. I'd be checking if your box was correct. I'd also be checking for the names of each of these and that everything was positioned right on correctly on this page here. So remember, this is the part A. This is worth 20 marks in total. And although I took a little bit longer, I suppose, trying to do it nice and carefully for yourselves, in your exam, this will only take five minutes. Okay, guys, thanks very much. So remember, that's the 2019 question. So you might give it a go in your own time. And I'm going to get on to the 2018 one next.